I want to show you the GTM variable builder. I've made some enhancements to it over the last couple of weeks, and it's much better than it was before. So now what you do is the same thing as before. You highlight anything on your page, even kind of portions of different, uh, different words or different text. Go to inspect, go to the console, click on the variable builder. Here it is. You can see it tells you here we've selected NA. You could put it into the console to test whether it's correct or not. There it is, NA. In this part here, this is a function that it's written for you that you can grab. So copy it. Then you can put it into Google Tag Manager. Right, you can go to the variables section. Then you can create a custom JavaScript variable. And then this, every time it goes to the page, will extract it for you. Okay, there you have it. Works perfect. Great. Any questions, let me know. You can basically extract any text, and it doesn't have to be the exact text. For example, you can go here. And you see where it says model, or actually web code. Whatever the web code is in this slot, it will pull for you. But great for setting up dynamic remarketing. or setting up uh, you know, a value pull. There it is, it pulled the web code, and then you can go to GTM. Let's say some digits have changed, it will pull those changed digits as well. Same for model, there it is. Let's say you don't want SK, there you go. How about the price? There you go, 679.99. All right, this works in many different instances. Again, it does. it's not gonna pull the exact same thing every time. As the page changes, it will pull what is on the page, as long as the highlight is in the same spot. Okay, there it is, the new and improved GTM variable builder. Bye-bye, have a good one.